Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of the tutorial. Today we're going to be adding movement to the character and we're simply going to do this by um, just using the character controller and just a few lines of code and then we're also going to put some animation into it as well. Uh, just to let you know, I got, grabbed another animation for walking backwards um, so you don't need it but I just have it there just to make it look more um, realistic you can just reverse the um, um, motion jog or something like that or just reuse the motion jog but for going backwards and um, so that is what we're going to be doing and I've already went ahead and added the um, walk backwards into the code here so there's just an else uh, an else if statement here and then just the function down here for calling and that's pretty much it so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a new header and I'm going to call this not e. Hello. Um, okay, that's fine. So I'm going to call this a uh, character controller. Not sure if that's how you spell it, but whatever. And now we're just going to do serialized private um, float m underscore c speed and we're just going to create a few of these so we got a float that's going to be our jump that's going to be our gravity and then we're going to need a private <coughs> uh, vector tree and we're going to call this the M underscore uh, the just move direction equals new vector tree dot zero or not new well equals vector tree dot zero no ah lowercase sorry uh, M underscore, this is going to be our jump speed, so see, jump speed, and M underscore C gravity. Now I just put C gravity just so I know that's part of the character controller, just in case we have um, later physics that are going to control gravity, so I just put that there so I know that's controlling the character. Um, so that's all we need up there. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a new private void and um, this character character movement <coughs> and then we're going to update this character movement every frame here so just keep this nice and neat and in here we're going to need a character controller uh, so you can controller do the job uh, equals uh, get component character controller and that will get access to our character controller and then under that we're going to do if c controller dot is grounded and then we're going to put some code in here to move us so uh, move direction equals new vector three and then we're just going to get our inputs for x and z so uh, input dot get axis so it's going to be our horizontal horizontal and then this one be zero and then input dot get axis get axis vertical and that's all we need there so that we get our input for our uh, keyboard and um, then move direction equals transform dot transform direction move direction and then we want some speed so we're going to do multiply equal m underscore underscore c oh m underscore c speed so the character speed 
and then if we are also grounded we want to be able to jump so input dot get button down and we're going to name the button is jump uh, move direction dot y uh, equals jump speed and that is all for jumping and now under here just put move direction dot y uh, minus equal to uh, gravity and then we're going to apply that for time dot delta time and then c this is the color, yeah, c controller um, dot move and then we're just going to put the move direction and then multiply by that multiply that by time dot delta time too and there we go that will move our character backwards forwards left and right so that is handy and um, now if i go back in here we can set all of our values when they show up here we go so the speed we're going to put four because that's going to be our jogging then uh, c jump speed that's going to be say six and then c the gravity is going to be 20 so just quite a bit of force pulling us down and now you can see we're walking and now we can move backwards forwards left right and then we can move two directions at the same time back two directions at the same time forward all that good stuff right <clears throat> now we're going to write the animation handler so private void a character movement animation nicely and we're going to update that every time in here and that's going to work because this is getting updated every every frame so we'll get access to our animations here we're going to need a float and um, or it is equal to input dot uh, get axes and horizontal so this will tell if we are moving on the horizontal and a float ver <coughs> equals input dot get axis again and then vertical and this is that's the two of them are just going to get our inputs for moving forward and left and right and backwards and all that stuff so uh, let's go right ahead and write the first if statement so if and uh, we'll do the horrors first so if horror is greater than or equal to 0.001f then what do we want to do well we want to move forward so um m underscore anim state uh, equals animation state dot walk oh wait, well this isn't forward but this is going this is walking to the right so we'll just do vert sorry because we're going to be moving we don't have side walking animations and then we'll do else if um, vert is less than or equals 0, 0.0 Zero one f. Then we're gonna to want to put the m state equal to animation state dot walk backwards, and then else m state equals animation state dot idle. So if we're not doing either of these, we want to go back to being idle. Now the reason why I left this one open here for more things is so we can actually put more uh, input in here and I might just do the same for here for walking backwards because we might adjust the speeds a bit and just make sure everything is smooth <coughs> but we'll do all the adjustments in the next tour this is just setting up the basic stuff so now if I click play and I move forward so we're moving backwards automatically so something's applying force so we need to figure out what is going on um, oh my bad so I need to put minus here for less than so if it's less than or equal to that sorry that's my bad hopefully that didn't miss okay now we're standing still and idle we can jog forward come to a halt and then we can start to move backwards but you can see it's too fast it's like moonwalking so we can adjust the speed in there and um, so when we're walking backwards, we're going to do the M underscore C speed equals 
two. And then this is equal to four. We, we might set up different parameters for running and walking. So run speed, walk speed. There we go, walk, running, and then it's a bit too fast. So one might do the job. That looks a lot better. And then we jog forward and then walking backwards is should always be slow. Perfect. And then we can we can jog off to the side and we put straight in there. Go back. We can also jump. We don't have our animation for that, so we might as well put that in. So that is all for here for the minute until we have more to put in. And um, now here for jumping, this is where we're going to need to put some squiggly brackets in here. Okay, so we want to jump, so we're jumping here, but we also want to play the animation. So m underscore anim stay equals animation stay dot. Oh no, sorry, we just need to call the jump function. Function, not function. <laughs> animation underscore jump. But see, if we just do it like that, it's going to create this uh, jump before we actually do anything. So we need to invoke this. And the best way to do this is create a, a private void and we'll just call it <coughs> jump. And in between here, we're going to put invoke and the name of the function. So jump. And then how long? We're going to do 0.2f. And then that's where we are going to put that line. So we'll move that line in here. And that way we should get a smooth animation jump. Perfect. Now if I didn't do that, we left that in here. And I commented this out. This is what we'll get. See, he does the animation while well in the actual. It's just the animation. He jumps too early. It's too soon. So we put this invoke here, and that will. It's like a yield, and that will make us um, yield for a few seconds, or exactly what we have there. And then that way we get a little bit of height into our jump. So I just want to see this in action to make sure that I'm happy with it. So there we can see our controller and we want to jump. Oh. Ah. Yes. Move direction dot y plus equal. I thought they were just equals. Okay, we'll fix that in the next uh, tutorial. For some reason, that was jumping us, and the animation there seems to have messed up. Unless we put this back in here. So we'll put this in here. Now let's just see if it goes down. <coughs> let's see if we can get that capsule. Yeah, so the capsule jumps when we're in here. It, it needs to be... We need to. We need a better way to uh, to um, actually do this. So we just do plus equal to jump height. And that seems to be a bit smoother than it just teleporting up there. Okay. So we'll figure it out in the next one. We'll just have to make a few things. Uh, a few things um, more universal to use. But we, it's an easy fix, um, so we'll figure that out in the next one. So what we've done is we now have forward movement, backward movement, and then we can also move side to side and stuff. So it's quite handy. And um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to add that you can run forward, and then I might get some strafing animations to throw in there, and so we can move uh, side to side and then sidestep and, and stuff like that. 
So the next tutorial will be quite long as we'll be tying up the loose ends and we'll also be implementing a camera look system so we can actually rotate the player with the mouse. Um, anyways, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Adios.